Hey YouTube is 669 here back once again. This time I'm making it a Blu-ray video. And this time I'm making it on my phone because I'm sick of using my stupid fucking camera. Because it just the quality just seems to deteriorate every time I use it. So this should be fine, even though I can't see myself right now. Because I have to use a good camera because the other camera sucks. But yeah, fuck it. Let's talk about movies. Uh, I haven't done this in a while, so um, I'm gonna split this up into two videos because so it won't be like fucking 30 minutes long because I have like 40 movies to talk about. So yeah, anyway, let's start with some anime. This is without a doubt, in my opinion, the best anime movie ever made. It's Akira. Love this fucking film. <clears throat> I actually remember reading the manga way before seeing the movie. Uh, just rented in the library long ago when I was like, I don't know. 11 or something. <laughs> Pretty violent for uh, such a young age, I guess, but um, gotta get the manga later on because it's, it's really thick volumes, it's amazing. But yeah, uh, I used to watch <clears throat> tons of anime back in the day when I was like younger, when I was like 14, 15. Just watched watch absolute tons. Now I tend to just mainly uh, stick to movies. Yeah, this is fucking phenomenal. Had this in DVD back in the day, but gotta have it in Blu ray. Love it. This comes in both English and uh, Japanese. Uh, audio dubbing. Uh, prefer the Japanese version. The audio English one is not bad. Uh, yeah, just phenomenal. If you into anime, you probably have seen this. If you haven't, I don't know what you've been doing. Phenomenal fucking film. Uh, yeah, without doubt, the best anime movie ever made. Just the soundtrack, everything about this movie is just fucking beautiful. Moving on to uh, fun comedy, Anchorman. Um, yeah, I'm not a huge Will Ferrell fan or whatever, but uh, this movie is great. It's fun. Watch with friends, just a classic kind of comedy. Uh, yeah, really fun movie. Uh, the second one wasn't as good, but whatever. I, I'm, I'm happy just having the first one on the ray, I guess. I just got really bored. Um, yeah, really fun movie, especially when Jack Black kicks Will Ferrell's dog <laughs> off the fucking bridge. It's funny. Uh, great, a really Scotch film. Um, Crime drama, saw this back in when it came out on um, in theaters with uh, Denzel Washington and um, Russell Crowe. Really great movie, really great crime drama. This one comes with a bunch of fucking extras, which is nice. Uh, deleted scenes, just a bunch of extra stuff. Definitely watch, ugh, can't speak today. Worth watching if you're into crime drama. Let's have a swig of water here, so <clears throat> my throat's so dry. Damn. This is the second time I'm making this because the first time I used the other camera and it sucked balls. So hopefully this time will be better. American Psycho. This is the 15th anniversary edition. Um, comes in this black case, which is pretty cool. Um, yeah, I'd recommend getting the uh, regular edition because the extra features on here are kind of bullshit if you ask me. Especially like the from book to screen stuff. I just thought it was crap. I haven't uh, listened to audio commentaries, so that may be worth it if you're really interested. But I'd recommend just getting the regular version. Great uh, film, also read the book, uh, great book, really violent, uh, but yeah, phenomenal film, really fun, <laughs> it's a weird thing to say about this movie, but yeah, great fucking film, I mean, if you haven't seen this, please do, because it's fucking amazing, fucking American Psycho, great performance, great film, uh, great kind of almost unintentional comedy, I guess, in a way, uh, best film, hands down, from 2014, by uh, Alejandro Iñárritu, Birdman, saw this in theatres, fucking blew me away, phenomenal film, can't wait to see The Revenant, uh, this comes with extra features, great extra features, how to make like the drumming soundtrack and whole thing, definitely recommend getting some Blu-ray, because it actually put effort into making this good, and worth purchasing, which they don't always do, in fact they mostly don't do, but I'm an idiot anyway, so I'd buy it, uh, great fucking film, phenomenal. Can't wait to see The Revenant, even though now it's uh, formally known as the movie where, um, the helicopter gets raped by a bear. Just silly. Some fucking retard say that in on the internet, and now that's had movies known from now on. Just ridiculous. Uh, great Darren Aronofsky film, Black Swan. Phenomenal, great fucking film. Love this. Absolutely love this. It said when I ordered this that it would have English subtitles, but it doesn't. Just typical of buying shit in Sweden. I have like Fargo, for example, only has like fucking Norwegian subtitles, which is retarded. Yeah, great. Definitely gotta get Requiem for a Dream. I love the movie and love the book as well. Um, it was really cheap before, but now it's like ridiculous expensive. I don't know why. But yeah, this one's phenomenal. If you haven't seen it, do so please. Really great. 
And the Bloom Camp Free for the trilogy, I guess. Counted as that. Great South African director. Ugh. Saw District 9 when it came out in the movies. And uh, Elysium was alright. Don't know why it's the third, because it's the second film, but. And Chappie is really good, actually. So, uh, pleasantly surprised by Chappie. Really fun appearance by The Antwoord, and they actually played it great. Really funny movie. Definitely recommend that. Um, District 9 is amazing. Elysium was alright, as I said. It's master in 4K, but I don't have a 4K T, so it gives a shit. Uh, yeah, great. Uh, this came really cheap, bought on sale. Worth it. Moving on, phenomenal fucking film. Um, if you haven't seen this already, please do. Children of Men. I don't know who directed this, actually, but it's just phenomenal. If you've seen this movie, you know that the shots and the cinematography is just fucking amazing. Love this movie. Um, got us for <laughs> dirt cheap. Brand new. Fucking great. Uh, so I have to have this. I have to watch this soon again, my friends, because it's fucking great. Love that movie. Uh, great music movie, which I don't think there's a lot of, honestly. Control. Um, this is a movie about Ian Curtis from Joy Division. Shot in black and white, which it definitely should be. It fits the whole uh, theme and uh, so well in the scenery. I'm just silly jacket here. Um, yeah, great. Uh, as I said, there's not a lot of great music movies, I think. Especially about like real people and real bands. Like, I thought the Dwarf movie was like really mediocre. This, however, is really great. Uh, yeah, if you're a fan of Joy Division, if even if you don't know Joy Division and you want to find out, watch this movie. Because uh, for some reason, not all people know about Ian Curtis. But yeah, whatever. Check it out if you haven't already. Uh, the best comedy director right now, without a doubt. Edgar Wright, the Corona trilogy. This is fucking amazing. Um, Shaun of the Dead, great fucking film. Hot Fuzz, great fucking film. Well then, probably the weakest of the trilogy, but fuck it, it's still good. It's because of Edgar Wright, and he does comedy right. <laughs> um, yeah, this comes with a bunch of extra bonus features, which is great. Unlike uh, the Bloom Camp trilogy, which uh, had no extra features. Um, this has tons. Lead scenes, featurettes, outtakes, audio commentary, the whole shebang. Yeah, um, if you're into comedy, if you haven't watched Edgar Wright's movies, please do. I showed, I think I showed Scott Pilgrim last. Blue Ray video. Moving on, this is my favorite. Oh <coughs> god, my throat's getting dry. This is my favorite uh, anime series of all time. And uh, I think that's the case for a lot of people. It's fucking Cow Bebop. Uh, absolutely fucking phenomenal. Um, this is the whole, uh, all, all, the whole series. Um, it's fucking great, love it. As I said, it used to be watch a lot, shitload of anime back in the day. Not so much now, um, so that this is the only series I have, at least at the moment, I'll make it more. Um, this is probably the only uh, superior English dub uh, to um, its Japanese counterpart, I'd say. I think most people would agree. Um, yeah, this is fucking great. If you want to get into anime, uh, watch this. It's it's quite westernized. If, uh, I have to compare this to anything. I guess it would be Firefly. If you've seen that. It's the only fucking sci-fi TV show I've ever liked. Everything else is kind of... Uh, sorry. Star Trek fans. <clears throat> yeah, great. Great fucking anime. The Departed. I, I'm trying to do Boston accent, but it just turns out to be Arnold Schwarzenegger. I don't know why. But yeah, great Scorsese film. Great crime drama. Uh, one of my favorite Scorsese movies ever. Really good again. Taking out a swig of water here. Oh, God. Right, moving on. Another crime drama from none other than David Cronenberg. Eastern Promises with Vega Mortensen. It was also in um, History of Violence. I should probably pick up the uh, graphic novel for that. That could be interesting. Yeah, this was really cheap. Um, great uh, Cronenberg film, great crime drama. Um, Cronenberg is, kind of does mixed movies. Some of his movies are really fucking weird, like Cosmopolis and Map for the Stars and you know Videodrome, <laughs> shit like that, Existence. <laughs> but this is more of his uh, straightforward films, and it's great. Love it. If you're into crime drama, watch this. It's about the Russian mob. Viggo Mortensen plays. They're all great. Definitely like this one more than History of Violence. This is a phenomenal film, actually. 
enemy of Jake Gyllenhaal. This is the guy who made Prisoners, as it says here. A terrible cover. I don't know what, why didn't they use the movie poster cover, which is great. They use this, which is just uh, completely makes the movie look like something else that's it's not. It's a really weird film. This is a film you have to kind of like really dig in deep to understand what the fuck it's about. Uh, I had to watch Chris Stuckman's explain video on this. I think people, uh, most people would because it's really hard to get it at the first viewing. But uh, watch this with friends on the second viewing, it was like really good because like once you know what the movie's about, it really like opens up. You understand why the movie's awesome. I think this is the guy who made Sicario as well. Watched that recently. A uh, bit, bit disappointed actually in Sicario. Mainly had a problem with um, the main character in that. Just, um, yeah. But this is great. Definitely gotta get Prisoners as well. That's not another phenomenal movie. Can't remember the name of the director, sorry. Uh, this is, movie is great. Uh, absolutely great visual experiences. Even the extended version of this. Enter the Void by Gaspar Noir. If you're into getting a visual experience and you want to watch a movie, like maybe you're into, I don't know, Stanley Kubrick or something, or just overall, watch this film. It's fucking great. It's like three hours long or something. What is it? I think it's three hours. Two hours, 38 minutes. Uh, yeah, prepare for a little full frontal nudity and sex, but um, just the visuals in this, absolutely fucking fantastic. I've never seen a movie like this. Um, you know, the old DMT tripping and all this, just, it's it's an experience, it's definitely an experience. So if you want to get high and watch this, go ahead. Um, uh, this is greatest, probably horror trilogy of all time. Evil Dead, by Sam Raimi, the one and only, comes in this slip cover. Uh, this is great, comes with tons of extra features, obviously as all of you know. Uh, Evil Dead 2 and 3 are phenomenal, or Army of Darkness. Uh, the first one is alright, everyone knows pretty much that Evil Dead 2 is just superior. It's kind of like a common thing, like, Evil Dead 2 is just better than Evil Dead 1. That's just the case, I'd say. I think most people would agree. Yeah, it's fucking great. I first time I watched Evil Dead was like when I was 11 or something like that. My friend would just laugh our asses off. Yeah, just phenomenal, really great, campy fucking horror fun. Uh, I just actually recently finished watching uh, Ash vs. Evil Dead, the TV show on um, stars. Really good. Surprisingly good. Recommend that as well. This movie is great. Fear and Loving Las Vegas. I'm a big fan of Hunter S. Thompson. Read um, a decent amount of his books. When I first saw this movie, I was like, what the fuck, where have I been? Because this movie is fucking just phenomenal. Really fun. Really great. Just, just really captured the book so well. Um, oh, really happy to have this on Blu-ray. Got some deleted scenes and extra stuff here, not too much extra features, but overall, phenomenal fucking film. If you want to have a laugh, uh, just watch this, because it's fucking great. Love this. So many good quotes from this movie, it's ridiculous. Just absolutely fucking great. Love this movie. Moving on, this movie quite, uh, I think, passed by a lot of people from 2014. My friend recommended this. It's on Netflix, if you want to check it out, please do. It's Frank with Michael Fassbender. It's a, not a good music movie. Uh, definitely kind of gave me like some uh, neutral Milk with Hell vibes in in regards to the band. But yeah, really fun, it's, it's um, just watch it. From what I know, this mask and this guy actually is a real guy. We had like a British TV show back in the day or something like that. It's kind of really weird. TV show, but like this movie is great, really underrated, I'd say. Really, really fun comedy. Um, yeah, just watch it. Um, it's on Netflix. This one has some extra behind the scenes features and deleted scenes. Michael Fassbender plays it great, just phenomenal, phenomenal film. Check it out. Really good comedy. Kind of dark, but that's I like my comedies. One of the best uh, movies ever made, and the best western ever made. Everyone knows this. The good, bad, and the ugly classic. This is a fucking classic in all the sense of the word. Um, everyone knows the um, ending scene in the graveyard. Ecstasy of Gold. Phenomenal. Absolutely fucking phenomenal. A uh, bunch of extra features on here uh, if you're into that sort of thing. Yeah, definitely had to get this. And this is just fucking awesome. Definitely worth it. 
Uh, this is kind of a parody in that movie, I guess. The Greek got us really cheap. It's a Korean film. The Good, the Bad, and the Weird. My friend recommended this, so I got it. Uh, really great South Korean action, fun film. Um, yeah, it's just all that fun. That's how I would explain this movie. Really cheap. Definitely gotta get some more uh, South Korean films because there are a lot of good ones. Uh, yeah, really fun. If you're just looking to some um, mindless action, just fun action, not like serious, stupid action, but just fun. Watch this. And last for this video, at least this part of the video, is in Bruges. I love black comedy. And this is definitely a dark black comedy. Um, my friend recommended this as well, and um, just great when I watched it the first time. I was like, yes, love this so much. Uh, this is the same guy who directed um, Seven Psychopaths, which I showed in my last Blu ray pickups video. Uh, yeah, this is fucking great. Um, if you're into, um, I guess, crime, drama, comedy, whatever. Just check this out. If you're into dark comedy, you should definitely check this out because it's, it's fucking perfect. Definitely great movie. And that was it for uh, this part of the video. Hopefully uh, my phone is not dead when I film this. So yeah, thanks for watching and uh, see you back in the next video.